Okay, my name is Vivian Goldman. I'm the author of this book, The Book of Exodus. <laughs> the Making and Meaning of Bob Marley and the Whalers, Album of the Century. Exodus means a journey and a transition to a place where you can really be free. Come on, New York City, I want to see everybody moving and dancing in this house. Come on. So while so many of us are trying to reinvent ourselves to face new challenges, Exodus teaches us so we have to keep very aware, keep very alert, respond to everything that's around us because the wasteland that we cross enables us to really grow and make the best contribution we can because that is the movement of Ja people. you from the book of Exodus. Okay, I'm going to take you to Hope Road, a safe house for people fighting for their lives. I took up Bob's kind, kind invitation and found myself crashing on a mattress on the floor in the rehearsal room at Hope Road. Around 5.30 one morning, I woke restless and looked out. Bob was standing in the otherwise quiet yard under the big mango tree, talking angrily to two men whom I couldn't see clearly. There was something ominous in their exchange. Even at a distance, Bob's body language was different to anything I'd seen before. He was brusquely intent on making his point. It was unsettling and clearly a very private moment. What was happening was he was being shaken down by gangsters, all part of the reality that he was trying to bring peace to. I turned and went back to bed, but sleep wasn't easy. For me, this brief and somehow troubling glimpse suggested a new side to this complex man, the rough one that gave him the name Tough Gong. But they would do anything, anything. Late one night, I heard music floating up from below, so I drifted down the stairs that ran outside the building. The moonlit yard under the mango tree was crowded with around 15 people sitting on the ground. The downtown kids who found refuge there and the dreads who made it home. Bob was playing his guitar, wearing dusty sandals and shorts, sitting on the edge of a narrow bed. His picking provided rhythm and hints of harmony as he sang. Guiltiness, rest on their conscience, oh yeah. wrapped crowd hearing the fledgling sketch of a song that would soon seem prophetic. Bob was clearly referring to our global controllers whose very long spoon stirred the pot of ghetto conflict. Straight to their selfish heads went Bob's rolling biblical words, numbering the corrupt, those ultimately responsible for Kingston's bloody state. Oh, oh, oh. 